welcome. Uh, we're gonna paint this, well, I'm just kidding, we're not painting anything today. We might fix something, uh, depends on if anything breaks. Cross that bridge when we cross that bridge. Today we're gonna talk about my wife, or her name is Honey Pizza. Her actual name's not Honey Pizza, but it's first name Honey, last name Pizza. The basics behind that is I like pizza, and we once went to a restaurant where they put honey on top of the pizza, like a honey bear, and you squeeze it, and I coined the term honey pizza, and here we are in my kitchen. We don't always work the same shifts. We, our schedules are kind of all over the place, yada, 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 so we have to leave little love novels around the house to get our point across sometime, and you're usually there, they make sense, but they're getting a little... Your water bottle's in the fridge. Love you. Oh, well that is just adorable. Not only does it functional, it's got a subject and an adverb. So that means this is real love. Yep, I think you can tell that this is the one that I did. Because it says you're cool, your husband, and it's in a fridge. Get it because you're cool and like cold? So she'll see that when she gets her ranch dressing. And they say romance is dead. Ah, I wonder what we keep in this drawer. What's this? She left me a note. <laughs> You're not hungry. You're bored. <laughs> okay, well that's, that's debatable. What does the back say? Stop eating? I don't know what that has to do. When we eating this entire pizza before the price is right is over. Mm -mm. Still on commercial break. Wow. I've watched that dog all day not move a single branch from that pile, not lift a single paw, and just bask in all that shade slash sunlight. Spotty shade sunlight. Unbelievable. You want a treat? Oh, somebody gets a treat. Who trains you? Their owner's an idiot. Good girl. Oh, yep, you gotta find your spot again. That's a good spot. I don't know who's training that dog, but they are not good at training them to, I don't know, eat all those branches. She hasn't eaten a single one since we've moved in. And look at all of them. I'm not gonna cut all that myself. Well, actually I am cutting it kind of myself. That could be a branch right now. Instead, it's a beef jerky stick. What a time to be alive. This is the Orbit 9001, I don't know, supersonic. Uh, it's actually made by Orbit. It is a sprinkler system in a box. Now, I know most sprinklers probably come in boxes. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm just assuming they come in boxes. This one's special because it's cheap. And it came, or well, I don't know if it came with this hose or not. She bought me a hose. So now countless minutes of my day will not be violently waving around a hose in front of my yard without pants on. I can do it just by turning a knob without pants on. And that is a real convenience. I don't make a lot of plans in life. that require effort. And I think we're just gonna wing this, but I got a plan that we're gonna put this on, like in between that ugly bush right there, and try to hit both sides of this world. If you believe that the world is flat, uh, this curve doesn't exist. So I have a feeling we could just, you know, spray this whole area down with water, and it'll grow. Let's see how it goes. Just look at that little star sailor. You're the only orbiter I need in my life. We have one last thing to finish today, and it's a mind blower. See that little guy? See how there's no transition strip there? Today, I'm gonna put a transition strip there. So this is what we're gonna be installing as a transition strip. It's Carrera marble, and uh, floor decor calls it Hollywood because the edges are beveled. I'm not sure if that's an industry term. Uh, that seems strange to me that just beveling these edges means Hollywood. Either way, it's gonna look so much better than this and it won't be one of those brass transition strips because we gotta cover up the old line that I just didn't go to.
You know, I'm really not sure why you don't see this more often. Because marble as a transition strip looks pretty darn good. Don't worry about that. I'll, I'll caulk that another. That's another day's caulking project. Today's project is caulking this thing in. And that looks pretty darn good, I gotta say. And just like that, we're done. Not everybody can cram two hours worth of work into seven. I nailed it out of the park today. And just look at those bananas. Nobody picks out bananas as good as I do. So if you like bananas, subscribe. If you like marble, subscribe too. If you didn't like the sprinkler situation, you should probably subscribe just in case. Have a good one.